like back tested performance and like drawdown and number of trades per day estimated or whatever, how you will get paid pretty much. Not necessarily coming up with a strategy specifically for that, but you know, we had already traded some stuff and I was like, oh yeah, this would be a perfect opportunity. We can just kind of. And what were the first steps that you took after eBud? Um, I mean, I would say just, um, I think there was a lot of stuff in there with, um, maybe you and Sinclair at the time who was saying, you know, at some point you can do so much research, but once you get to a certain point, you need to just start making some trades, you know, and like getting the feedback from the market and stuff on, you know, certain ideas you might have. So that was probably a thing that I just started doing like after, after the course was just kind of sort of taking a leap of faith, you know, like doing some research and then making some trades because I guess you don't have, you know, I mean, you only have a certain amount of time to, to be able to do things in life, you know? So I guess it was just like kind of a, a wake up call almost to just kind of get started with something, you know, right. and just like kind of iteratively, you know, I guess like say take the automation, for example, you know, at first we weren't fully automated, but you know, you just kind of slowly work towards it, I guess like that definitely. I get. I think going coming out of or going into it, I had the I had the mindset of all right. I just want to code up something so beautiful and it works so clean, and then bam, we put it into production and it works. Definitely does not work like that. It's got to be an iterative process. For sure, for sure. And I think I think that transition is of course quite variable from person to person as it comes. Right. Um. So um. I think your official journey also includes uh, TIW Capital, right, and uh, and and the prop trading firms. So, could you share some light, uh, shed some light on that front, and how did that come across for you? Um. Yeah. Sure. So that's just um. Can't remember when I came across it. It was probably pretty early on in the like whenever I signed up for the EPAT and all. But you know, there, I, I remember looking at something saying. You know, once you finish this course and you have the certificate of excellence, basically, then if you can propose a strategy, even not a, not even necessarily a live traded strategy, just like maybe a back test, then you know, obviously, you'd have to show it to somebody who's potentially investing money in it, and you know, can work from there. But anyways, it just gave me an opportunity to, you know, like say, look, I can just code up a strategy, um, present it to somebody, and you know, if they like it, then I can trade with, you know, their money and get a cut of the profits if I make some money for them. So, you know, I thought that was a um, great opportunity. Um, so, you know, as soon as I finished, that's pretty much what I started working on um, was trying to come up with, uh, or, I mean, I guess not necessarily coming up with a strategy specifically for that, but, you know, we had already traded some stuff and I was like, oh yeah, this would be a perfect opportunity. We can just kind of showcase this to um the connection with through epat which is a tiw capital so yeah um and it's pretty um pretty detailed like the sort of application you know you have to show like all these sort of metrics about your strategy and also you know it's definitely not like i don't know they take it take it seriously obviously because somebody's putting their money at risk so it's not like just a a breeze i guess right I think I think um, uh, Shuvam had a question what company that you're working for, um, but I think uh, the TIW part uh, takes care of it a little bit. Um, awesome. So uh, one, so how how was the entire process of you getting introduced to TIW uh, Capital? Yeah. So just uh, basically fill out the like the application page or whatever, like with your strategy and the. Uh, uh, whatever information they request on there like it'll be i don't know you know like back tested performance and like drawdown and number of trades per day estimated or whatever send that in epat puts you in touch with the company or quantity puts you in touch with the company um and then you basically you know from there you just kind of work with with the um with the company and in a contact there and you just um you know like they just further sort of ask more and more questions on the strategy and then if they like it then they you know they send you a term sheet which basically breaks down um how you will get paid pretty much for you know for managing their account so and, and it's just a 
like a separately managed account. So, you know, it's pretty much just like if I were to open up my own brokerage account and just manage it, but I just have like a trader log in and go on there and run the um, system on there every day pretty much.